Hey everyone, Sean from Dungeon Printer here. Uh, now, one question I've been seeing quite a bit about the transform behind me here uh, has been concerning the XY resolution, and mainly how it's quite a bit lower resolution than even the Photon or some of the other resin printers out there. Uh, and this has led to some concerns that the quality of print isn't going to be as good, the details aren't going to be there, uh, especially in smaller prints. So what I wanted to do was take some of the normal minis that I used to do in my Photon, uh, throw them on a plate on the Transform and see how they turn out, just so you guys can get an idea of the detail that this machine can do. Uh, and, you know, even compared to some of my resin prints that I did on the Photon. Uh, now, quick disclaimer, uh, the FEPM my Photon's probably getting a little bit on the old side. I haven't replaced it in a while, uh, so that might have skewed some of the Photon results. But the results from the Transform uh, are going to speak for themselves. Um, so, let's take a look at some of the parts that are printed uh, and go from there. Alright, let's take a look at some of these minis here. Uh, now, these are from the Dungeon Works uh, Monstrous Encounters. Kickstarter that just ended. Uh, the thing I love about these is they are supportless. They do not, uh, they don't need any supports um, for the build plate. They don't need any supports anywhere. Uh, you just put them on the plate and print. Um, and these one, this one here is printed on the transform and I think it looks really damn good. I mean, everything is super crisp. You can see the ribs. Uh, behind the breastplate there, you can even see some of his chainmail behind his belt. Very detailed. Um, his finger bones. Even some of the, um, the grains of wood in the spear shaft there you can see. Um, eye sockets and teeth are very well defined. Everything about the lines are real crisp. Just looks very good. Now, the one thing I kind of don't like about the Transform um, is because the plate is so big it needs holes drilled in it so you're going to get these little divots on anything that you press right up against the plate. Um, but very minor grievance considering how good these things turn out and how well they look. There's another one. This guy here has a lot of the same detail going on. Um, he's got a little hole in his breastplate there. You can see the ribs behind, all the different cloth. Obviously the eye sockets again uh, inside the little cloak hood. Um, so that was all printed. And the, just the quality of these, just for being supportless minis, some of the best that I've seen. So, I mean, kudos to the Dungeon Works team for sure. Um, here's some green on the back of the shield. some rivets you can see on there. Um, but yeah, kudos to this team for coming up with supportless minis that look good. Um, don't just have like really static poses and um, you know, very obvious places where limbs and body parts and stuff are fused together in order for there not to be a support there. Uh, these look really damn good. Now to do, to do a quick comparison um, with ones I printed on the Photon, um, I used the same settings on the Photon, the same layer height, which was 0.05. Uh, I used the same exposure times, the same resin, which was the gray TR250 from Frozen. This is the same skeleton printed on the Photon. And you can see it looks pretty good. But if you look at the chain mail and look at the ribs and look at the eye sockets, it's just not quite as crisp. And if we bring our other friend back, do a side by side. On the left is the frozen transform, and the right is the photon. Just everything about the transform just looks a little bit more crisp. Eye sockets are more crisp and defined. The ring mail, the rib cage, even you can even see like little serrations on the spearhead. Now, I don't know if that's intentional or if that's just, you know, the layer lines showing up better on this, but it looks kind of cool. Let's compare these two now. So we had a little issue with lifting from the plate, it looks like. Um, but still, you can see the detail difference between these two. This one just kind of looks dull. Um, doesn't look as pronounced, but the 
the ones printed on the transform are very, very crisp. Um, very pronounced. Was, I mean, these aren't bad by any means. These are perfectly table-worthy miniatures from the Photon. And again, it could just be that my FEP on my Photon's kind of getting bad and and I haven't, uh, I haven't really redialed in my Photon much since my move. Um, so it could need a, you know, plate calibration, which might be a uh, reason why this peeled away. But, I mean, the point of this video is not to bash on the Photon by any means. I mean, I have it, I love it, I'm still going to use it. The point of this video is to show that the Transform can get really good results. Uh, even though there's some concern about that XY resolution, and I think it's only like 29 micron difference, but like these are these are normal 28 millimeter dimension minis. Um, I'm gonna see in comparison to my hand here, and the details on these are just as good as I've seen in any other resin printer. There's no very obvious layer shifts or layer lines. Um, it looks really good and I'm very impressed by it. And so if you've got concerns that getting the transform means that, you know, you're not gonna be able to to do your minis or you're gonna have to get the, the extra attachment to do the, the two five and a half inch plates in order to get quality miniatures, I, I would say that's just not true. Um, and I, I guess this video is kind of out to prove that. Uh, the standard setup with the with the full size plate can deliver a really high quality miniature. I guess since it feels like I've been picking on the photon a little bit, here is a finished and painted um, miniature. This one was done on the photon. Uh, I did these a while ago, probably a few months ago, when I was still in my old place and, and the printer was dialed in. Um, so you know, it's not. I'm not saying it's bad by any means at all. It's a great, great, great printer. This video's purpose is just to, to show that the Transform can get very, very good results, um, even though people had issues or had concerns about the, the XY resolution. I hope this helps clear up some of the confusion that some people have. I understand that on paper, the XY resolution looks like a big deal. If you are concerned about details and small minis, I hope this video gave you the answers that you were looking for uh, and helped ease your mind on that aspect. I tried to make this as controlled of an experiment as I could, but as I said, the FEP on my Photon is getting a little cloudy. That could have been a factor. And I haven't taken the time to fully calibrate my Photon since I moved, but hopefully bringing in that old piece from before gave an idea of what a finished product still looks like. I'm very impressed with the Transform as far as miniature uh, printing goes. Obviously you guys already saw the uh, the Lost Dragon uh, Frostfather that I posted on my last video and on some of the boards showing that it can do big prints just as well. I've got some even bigger prints and some new things that I'm going to be working on here this weekend. So hopefully we can keep showing some good results from this machine. But now that we're past all the difficulties and, and past all of that, I'm really glad that we can start showing some results and, and get you guys the information that you need to decide whether you're going to buy one or to be hyped for your pre-order that you already have uh, or while you're waiting for yours to arrive from the Kickstarter. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If you got any videos that you think I should be making or if you've got uh, something that you want explained in a future video, just go ahead and leave a comment, ask about it. Obviously, we're going to keep going with the Transform for a while, but I do want to get into some of the other stuff I talked about in my first video. I've got a pretty cool project I've got plans coming up here, assuming that my next big print works. Uh, and I've got some other fun DM type stuff uh, that I want to go over and, and share with you guys as well. But for now, I know everyone's curious about the, the Transform, so we're going to keep a couple more videos coming on that, get some more answers, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.